I want to speak to both. All right, and I want you to look at me as a brother too. All right, I, 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 I love you, black women, and I already see you got the little head turn. Right. Look at me as a brother. You look at me as a brother. All right. I'm not here to attack. All right. But I am gonna read what God's word says. Watch this, okay? Read. First Corinthians chapter six and verse nine. Bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Because remember, unrighteousness is breaking God's commandments. Right. So we understand that sometimes people follow unrighteousness because unrighteous people may have done things to them unrighteously. Right. Whether it could be rape, whether it could be uh, 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 embarrassment, touching, whatever it is. Some people lead and go down certain roads in their life because of that situation. Or they could just be straight up, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived in yourself to think that what, only thing that, what's your name? Okay. Don't be deceived to think that doesn't matter. Mine is over God's mind. Okay, read. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, read. nor idolaters, uh -huh. nor adulterers. Uh -huh. No effeminate. What is effeminate? Effeminate is if a man walks with a twitch. Effeminate is what if a man walks with a twitch and he is effeminate in a uh, quote unquote sodomite factor. Right. Read. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. What does abusing of themselves with mankind mean? What does that mean? That means homosexuality. Right. It said up in the verse, it said that unrighteous people that do some of these acts is not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. But watch this, read. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. But read the next verse, watch this. And such were some of you. And such were some of you. What does that mean? That means that Paul in Corinth was talking to people that dealt with these sins. That's right. But guess yeah. what? We in Corinthian now. In America, because guess what? The same sins that they was following in Rome and Greece have people following today in America. Right. Right. Read that next part. And such were what? And such were some of you. Such were some of you. You were Gentiles. You were Sodomites. But guess what? God says you can change. That's right. For the best, for the better. Bring it out. So you can live forever. Right. Because at the end of the day, you love her, right? To death, right? She loved you to death, right? The goal is for both of y'all to live forever. That's right. Live forever. The only way you can do that is by following God's laws. Read it from the top again. Some of what? And such were some of you. Read. But ye are washed. You are what? Ye are washed. Guess what's happening right now, sis? You're trying to get washed in the word of God right now. Baptism is not going to wash that spirit off of you. The word of God is. Watch this. Read. And I sanctify, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord and by the spirit of our God. The spirit right now is trying to tell you, sisters, that guess what? According to the Bible, you cannot be homosexual. That's right. Can't Get do out. that. You can't do that. Because guess what? Let, let's, say, let's say we just go off of what we want to do and what we think. Why would God give the order to man and woman in the beginning, be fruitful and multiply? Right. Bring it out. How could we do that if, if we just went off of what we wanted to do? Right. Hey, brother and sister, brother and sister, real quick, before you go in. Y'all believe in God, right? And you understand that the word of God is true and everything in it is true, right? What is today according to God? Today is the Sabbath day. So in the Sabbath day, in the law, remember you couldn't buy and sell today. So you just said that you believe the Bible, the Bible's true, but to pay your admission fee to get into Ramona Free Market on Saturday, which they're open on Sunday, you can go there on Sunday. Today's the Sabbath day. That means are you going to follow what God says or not? Bring it up. Probably not. Why not? So, but, 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 but we want God to have mercy on us when he returned. Remember that day. It's going to play back. It's going to play back one day. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? You believe in Lord Jesus Christ? I sure do. You believe in, you believe? This is not my first time talking to you guys. This is my first time talking to you. How you doing? What's your name? I'm Steve. You Steve? Okay, my name is Amos. Now my question to you is this. What does God require us to do as a people? Keep it short. I don't want a big old huge sermon. Do right by him. Okay, do right by him. How do I do right? Ten commandments. Okay, is it just a ten? Nah, that's what I believe. Okay, okay. 
What about uh, is the ten, is uh, homosexuality in the ten, ten Commandments? No. So can I can I be a homosexual? No. Okay, so it's more than ten, right? Is that should I eat pork in the Ten Commandments? If you want to educate me on that, then right, that's what let's, it is. Let's, I'm not saying I know it all. But right, cool, me, cool. To me, I just know the basics. That's cool. But you, okay, so let's get a law that's not in the Ten, all right? Numbers 1538. Oh, Numbers 1538. Oh, no. You said what now? I said, that's scaring me now. What you mean? <laughs> it's going to be beyond, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, this is the law. Watch this. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38 Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel Speak unto Steve You're an Israelite, read And bid them that they make them fringes In the borders of their garments God says we have to make fringes In the borders of our garments Steve. Read Th Throughout their generation That means forever and ever Because guess what, we always generate, right? Daddies having, having more sons Sons becoming fathers, right? Right read? And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So guess what? God says these things right here you got to have on your shirt. If you truly love him. Because how you love God? Do it right by him. What's right? The commandments. You know what I'm saying? So if you understand and say that you love God, you got to start doing what God requires of you to show love and affection to him. Bring it out. You tracking? Yeah, that's what I brought up to begin with. Right. Ten Commandments. So if you're going to respect him, you got to respect, respect his law. Respect his law. So what you going to get next time we see you? I don't know if it's a tricky question because I ain't learning anything different from what I already know. Because follow him and obey him, to me, is the way of serving him. If you my dad, okay, okay. I'm your son, right? Okay. You tell me to go into the kitchen and make you a sandwich. Okay. And I don't do it. Do I obey you? I disobey you. You know, I disobeyed you. You my daddy, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? You disobeyed me. So if God says, we're fringes, Steve does not do it. How can you have a relationship with him when you disobey your father? Teach! So what are we going to see next time we see you? Discipline. Okay, discipline requires you to do what? Go through things you don't want to go through. All right, so, but God says, take my hand, you're going to be all right, right? Okay, then, so taking his hand means keeping his commandments. What? Get out. So what are we going to have on next time we see you? Give me Psalms. Give me the, what you got? Read what you got. Verse John, chapter 2, verse 4. Bring it out. He that saith, I know him. You know God, right? Okay. You got a relationship with him, right? You feel like you do. You believe you do, right? I believe I do. That's right? What I believe that. Right? Now watch this. Read from the top. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Read it again from the top. Read it again. <laughs> he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Read it one more time for Steve. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Bring it out. So, if you say you know God, okay, right? Brother, brothers, right here. Y'all love God, right? Y'all know God. They ain't gonna listen to me. You love God, right? Okay. Okay. Are you keeping his commandments? No. Okay, so what you need to start doing? Keeping his commandments. All right, then. All right, then. I don't think an average person could uh, command ten commandments. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not rob, thou shalt not lie. It goes on and beyond and beyond. So you think it can't be done? It, it could be done, but I don't, I don't believe Average people walking around doing Ten Commandments. The point is, everybody lies. Everybody. The kills. point is, is the fact that it's not meant for everyone to keep it. It's meant for the select people of God that, to keep it. Right. And, and, and that's what we're showing you now that you have multiple examples of out here people that's in purple wearing fringes, showing you an example of that it can be done. Right. Because right. all of us, like we read earlier in First Corinthians six and nine, and such were some of you. All of us were in here in the midst of wickedness in our life. Yes, right. And we repent daily for it. Right. Guess what? We actually got on the bus that way to Jerusalem. Right. Bring it out. Bring it out. You sitting here at the bus stop. Bring it out. You sit, read what you got. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. The Bible says you can't shave off the corner of your beard. I see you got a little bit of hair right there. You got it. Whatever you grow, you got to keep it right there and keep it shaped up. 
the end of 10. You believe in Christ, right? Yeah, I mean, you this, start, you start, this, you kind of start, you, you kind of start to second guess if you believe look, in Christ. I had to look at every single one of you guys. And it's like, it's like you kind of second, it's, it's, it's like you, it's kind of like. I, I would never second thought that because I was raising that. Christ, but, right? But I was raising Christ, but I ain't never really followed through with it. But well, let's see, well, let's see if Christ followed through. I know, I know, Hebrews 4, 14, 4, 15. I know, I know a couple of things about Christ because. Even though I didn't follow through with it, but the fact that I was raised in it, right? So what I knew, I knew. When I don't know, I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. It, it, it's, 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 it's different when you see how people were raised in Christ because some people actually won't give us the time of day. We reading Christ's words. Got a big question. For you. All right, now watch this right here. Hebrews chapter four, verse fourteen. Let's read about Christ. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, who is that? Jesus Christ. Read. Okay. That is passed into the heavens. Uh -huh. Jesus, the Jesus, the Son of God. Uh -huh. Let us hold fast our profession. Let us hold fast our profession. Let us make sure that we make sure our ministry is to the best of our abilities. And how do you uh, hold fast your profession? You'll, you'll be a professional commandment keeper. That's right. how you do that, Read. For we have not an high priest mm -hmm. which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, Read. but was in all points. So what 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 point read? But was in all points. It's talking about Christ, read. Tempted. Christ was tempted in every single thing that you go through. Check it out. Christ was tempted in everything that he go through. He go through. He go through because he was made flesh. He was a man. He couldn't be an example to you if you never walked in your shoes. Let me finish the scripture. Read. But was in all points tempted like as we are. As what? Like as we are. But what did Christ do? Yet without sin. Yet he did what? Yet without sin. Christ didn't make excuses. He just kept his father's commandments. That's right. Bring it out. Christ was tempted just like you. Christ was. Christ, you would think the devil didn't come to Christ and say, "Man, you know you a little better if you shave your beard a little down a little bit." Come on, man. That's just important, man. You might as well go. You can just go ahead and eat that. No, Christ said, "Get thee behind me, Satan." I'm, uh, man should not live with bre uh, by bread alone, by by every word that comes out of the Bible. It is written. It is written. Because the devil knows scriptures too. Right, you know. So Christ was tempted, you tempted, Christ kept the commandments, you got to keep the commandments. That's, That's right. right. Point blank, period. You tracking? What's your question? I got two. Now I have two. I had one, now I have two. Ask the one that you want to ask the most. Okay, the one I want to ask the most is what color you believe Jesus Christ is? What, what color you believe in? I know what I know. Okay. That's why I ask you. Is he the color of the hands on your head? No. So that's a false representation of Christ, right? Exactly. Right. Okay. Give I me just that. I want to hear what you know. I, hey, I'm going to read what the Bible says. That's what right. I mean by that. Yeah, watch this. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. That jumped the verse 14. Verse 14, read. his head and his hair, the hair on his face and the hair on his head, read, were white like wool. Were white like wool. Does that match what it says? In the Bible? Yeah, the only reason I asked you that, because that's what I was expecting to hear. Let me finish. I, let me finish. I wouldn't hear anything different, I would have walked off. Okay, let me finish the scripture real quick. Read. As white as snow, read. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, read. and his feet, and his what? And his feet. Is your feet a different color than your body? So if your feet are colored, then your body gonna be the color, right? Exactly. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? We're not different from it. What color is brass? Color is brass. I'm looking at it. Yeah, you're looking at brass. Is that what I'm saying? Let's see if Jesus Christ was light skin. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. Jesus Christ was Western Snipes black. Bring it out! So does that fit this image or that image? That ain't fun. Okay then, all right, so that's your first question answered. Jesus Christ is a black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. What's the second question? Do you have to have a face of hell? Like, if you just want to be uh, clean cut, does that make you anything? Because I see everybody here have some type of face of hell. Like, the only reason I even keep this is because I used to have long hair. And I cut my hair. The law says, 
Don't shave off the corner of your beard. And the corner of your beard can be here. Some people is is here. For some people, they uh they have less hair than others. Cause I don't believe I could go like a Rick Ross beard. I don't. You don't have to. It don't have to be a Rick Ross beard. Like for some jobs, right? You may have to cut it down to a certain length. But I'm not going into my natural line. The the same reason why when we got those slave ships, they called us boy, and shaved us bald. It's the same reason why in corporate America now you got to be a good old boy, clean shaven boy, in the job field. All right, watch this. Sign of a compact Bible dictionary. Let's see how important the uh, the beard is. Sign of a compact Bible dictionary. Definition of beard: a badge of manly dignity. Read read the beard again. A badge, a honor, a showmanship of what? Of manly dignity. So whatever kind of hair, different limbs, different limbs, different limbs, different limbs. Whatever hair you got. It's showing that you're a man. Right. That's right. right. Yeah. Read. The Israelites. The what? The Israelites Read. were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. That's right. The Bible says you were forbidden to do it. Let's go deeper. Why was that? Drop that. Give me uh, Leviticus 18. Read. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 1. Remember when the Israelites were in Egypt? Remember that? Watch this. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak Perfect. unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and say unto them, Read. I am the Lord your God. Read. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where we were for 400 years. Are you listening? All right. Read. Shall ye not do. What were the Egyptians doing? What's an Egyptian custom when it comes to hair? It all, Every point of hair from their body. Bring it out. So when you walk in a bald head like Charles Barkley or Michael Jordan, now read the last part of that, what are you doing? Beard. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. Why? Because it was a custom you learned in Egypt. Read. Watch this. Because it was regarded. It was what? It was regarded. Steve, listen up. It was what? It was regarded as a heathenish sign. The Bible backs up what the dictionary says. You shave off your beard, you fall in the ways of the heathen, you acting like a Gentile. Right. The only people that don't have facial hair is women and little boys. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.